So this is the Peep and the Poppy Fairy. We are gonna be all around the school. This is a map. Special delivery. I love Blossom Hall, Christy Jade, sighed happily as she finished off the delicious bowl of fruit and carol. She was sitting in a sunny terrace of the hotel restaurant with her best friend Rachel Walker and their parents. The true family was spending a week at the old Totals house which was now a hotel over the Eastern holidays. The sky was blue and the pink and white cherry trees in the gardens were full with blossom. It's lovely, uh, Rachel agreed. Did you find any fairy garden yesterday? Mr. Ted asked. Rachel and Christian nodded. It was, it was magic. Rachel said, and she and Christy grinned at each other. The two girls shared a very special secret. On the previous holiday, they had become friends with the fairy. Yesterday, in the hotel garden, they had met Tia, the toilet fairy, and began the whole new fairy adventure. What, what do you two want to do today, Mr. Walker? Walker asked. We'd like to explore inside the Blossom Hall this morning, Rachel said eagerly. I can't wait to look around, Christia added. Mom, can we please... Uh, Mom, Mom, please can we? Yes, you can leave the table if you have finished. Mrs. Ted laughed. All the, all the more bacon and eggs for me, Mr. Walker said teasley as the girls got up laughing rachel and christia left the restaurant and sat down one of the building corridors looking at the pictures on the wall one of them showed a pretty village garden that's the blossom village isn't it rachel nodded there they had they had uh, they had driven through the village to reach the blossom hall this this is Blossom Hall, Rachel remarked, pausing in front of another print. It says it was built in 1550. One Next to the picture, Blossom Hall hung an oil painting of fields scattered with wind, flowers, scattered poppies, golden buttercups, and blue cornflowers. It's lucky there is only painted flower it's inside or they'll or they'll be dying now that the petal fairy magic petals have been stolen oh my god the girls had learned that jack frost was courting trouble for the fairies he sent his goblin service to steal the seven magic petals and without them flower flowers in fairyland and the human world couldn't bloom properly the petal fairies had tried to get their petals back but the struggle between their magic and jack frost's icy spell the petals has sprung out of the sight uh, into the into the human world jack frost has sent his goblins to bring them back but rachel and christy were determined to find the first return them fairyland at least we managed to find tia's toilet petal yesterday christia said i wonder if we find another magic petal today i hope so the girls arrived at the hotel reception in a Spacious hallway with the sitting glass windows and a large manual table with the display of flowers at the moment the main doors opened and the man of blue overlords came in carrying an enormous basket of flowers now let's see what has happened hello bill said jenny at the reception receptionist can you put these flower in their place please useful place bill went to over remove the old basket of drying flowers and put the new one in his place rachel thought the beautiful flowers were beautiful huge poppies their stinking petals were gorgeous rich shades of red and orange with custom their jet back centers bill went over to the reception desk and began discuss next week's order with Jenny. Rachel and Christy couldn't see that 
petal perfume flower shop printed in the back of the over hills okay cool that's the flower shop in blossom village christia said to rachel we drove past in our way here we'll we'll do our best jenny bill was saying but we are having a lot of problem at this morning moment the flowers are drying very quickly and we don't know why christia sighed it's because six of the seven the seven magic petals are still missing she whispered to rachel new flowers won't grow and the ones that have already bloomed don't last very long at all rachel nodded sadly in agreement okay so our chapter is just gonna finish bill took out his notebook i'll go and take rest order from the hotel manager he said and hurried off rachel started the flowers and bill had just brought in it she could see at some of the already willing even through the fresh from the flower shop suddenly her heart skip a beat trixie she was puttering her friend's arm i just i just saw something red fairy sparkles shoot out of the basket wow oh christy looked thrilled the two girls hurried over the flowers as they reached the there was another shower christum sparkle a tidy fairy zoomed out of the middle of the scardam poppy okay bye guys now this was the first chapter of the poppy the poppy fairy the, this the the petal fairies uh, so i have read the chapter of this one uh, special delivery then we'll read the second chapter a win a window a window seat okay so bye guys see you later